So you find the love of your life, and next, you might ask dad for the hand in marriage. But what if he asked for your credit report, bank statements, and medical records? Would you object? Well, at least one dad requested that information from his future son-in-law. Joining me is Kenny Pugh. Okay, you had nothing to do with that specifically. But he wrote an article um, about the whole thing at blackenterprise.com. Uh, uh, Kenny, is this all for real? This is definitely for real. It was an interesting story. There's a guy named Steve who wanted to marry his girlfriend, so he approached the father of his girlfriend to uh -huh. ask for her hand in marriage. It was very interesting because his reply was, I need to see your credit report, your bank statements, <laughs> and your medical records before I give you my blessings. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. Wow. I mean, yeah, what, what would be your response? You'd be like, what? Excuse me? I'm an adult. Um, right. But when, when dads ask those kind of questions, is that saying that they don't, I don't know, don't trust their own child's decisions? Well, as a man, I'm thinking to myself, I had to take up enough nerve or get up enough nerve to come and ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. And now all of a sudden you're throwing the bank statements, credit report, and medical records back at me. But then when I took a step back and I thought about it from the, the father's perspective, he wants to make sure that his daughter is well taken care of. And so yeah. I think I can really appreciate that. Yeah, and what do you think that means then for, for people who do want to pop the question right now? What does that say? Should we be ready for anything? Well, if all I men... I say we, not me. Right. <laughs> if, if, if all men had to be prepared to uh, take care of their future wives in that way, I think they would prepare themselves better from a financial perspective, take care of their credit, as well as take care of their health as well. So mm -hmm. I think it's a great concept to have the influence that the father had in this particular case, but I also think that that might be a little bit extreme. Yeah, so do you think then it's the, it, it's the dad, it, he has a place to say something like this? Do family members, I mean, could, is this something we can just jump on in to, you know? Well, if, 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 if given <laughs> two extremes, I would prefer to have my, my future wife's uh, father involved in her life because it shows that he has a sense of caring and that uh -huh. he's invested to make sure that she's taken care of. So I can appreciate that. But when you look at it from today's standards, when there's a lot of parents that, or a lot of fathers that aren't involved in their daughter's lives, mm, you can see that there's point. a different dynamic involved when that's the case. That's a good point. Kenny Pugh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having appreciate me. Appreciate it.